Hello and welcome back to the Forgotten City. Today we'll finally talk to that baker. Well, Dave, apparently. And I won't forget that we that we can use flashlight, which I keep forgetting about. Oh, and by the way, we'll now wait around a minute for this. Oh, oh not. Or not. Never mind. Okay, but who is supposed to guide me exactly, hey? I'm not very specific about that. Persephone? Or who? Dropping this? Thanks to buy once I've escaped. Okay. Okay, it's locked. Uh, nope. Please don't walk around with your bow. Out like I've never this. seen a lump like that before. Remarkable. I know, right? But we still don't know who hates you exactly. Let's talk to this guy. Maybe he knows something about the plaque. Greetings. I'm Georgius. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. I know, I know. You want to know where I'm from, but I really want to ask you some questions first. My friend, your words intrigue me more and more. But yes, very well. Ask me what you will. Do you know where I might find a Greek plague? And in a plaque. city full of Romans, you are asking me? Yes. I am Greek. Let me mm, maybe. something about Greeks and Romans. They hate each other. My name is Georgios, yes. But the Romans, they do not care. They hear me say Georgios, and they think, ah, he must mean Georgius. Good Roman name. They do this all the time. They see us worshipping Zeus, they copy us, but call him Jupiter. They take Hades and call him Pluto, Persephone, Proserpina. I am flattered that they copy our ideas, but why must they change the names? Do they want credit for making it all up? Do they want to forget where it came from? At first, I pull my hair out. After a while, I give up and I become Georgius the Roman. I accept the world is Roman. Plus, I have no hair left to pull. But my point is this. If you want to know who stole an old Greek name, look no further than the sticky-fingered Romans. The plague you seek was pilfered from a collection of old Greek relics by none other than Dooley. Uh, he cannot help it. Like a typical Roman, he likes shiny things, especially those that once belonged to my people. And besides, it makes him happy. So I say, let him keep it. I believe he still has it with him, in his cell, just opposite the Temple of Demeter. Okay, thank I you. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. Through inside. Alright, now I don't want to talk to you yet. Ness? You... you took care of him? He had a tragic accident in that shrine. An accident? So, it's over? Yes. Oh god, that's such a relief. I really thought we were all going to die. I, I do have a question though. That shrine, the one I was going to hide in, did you know it was going to collapse? If I said yes, I'd be admitting to murder. I don't understand. Oh, I see. Oh, I should probably keep my big mouth shut then. Sorry. Yep. I promise. Nobody else will ever know what you did. But I know. No, you don't know. That was really clever. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Oh, speaking of which, welcome. I'm Fabia. Sorry I was a bit frantic before. Need anything? What's your story? <laughs> There's not much to tell. I mostly just bake bread and try to help out where I can. How did you end up here? I suppose it all started about eight months ago. I was living in Rome with my family when I got sick. Terrible timing. My pa had just arranged a husband for me. 
a fisherman's son. I was about to meet him for the first time when I came down with an awful fever. I spent the next week in bed. Pa paid priests to make offerings to Asclepius, a white rooster, then a goat. But nothing worked. In the end, they decided I'd do better outside the city. Clean air in the countryside would do me good, they said. But after about a day in a carriage on the Appian Way, I was getting worse, not better. I remember closing my eyes for a bit, and I guess I must have fell asleep, because when I opened them again, I was in a forest by a river. I suppose the driver took off with his fee and left me for dead. Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't have wanted to catch what I had either. Anyway, I went searching for help, stumbled across the trapdoor temple, and here I am. I am sorry to hear that. It's nice of you to say, but you should save your sympathy. Lots of people here need it more than I do. Do you know a way out of here? What? You've been here a few moments and you're desperate to get out already? Yes! Why not give the place a chance before you try to leave? Good people here. Galerius works hard on the farm so I can put food on our tables. And Lucretia tries to keep us healthy. My friend Georgius is always mending our clothes. And Virgil makes sure these old walls don't fall down around us. Well, he... he does his best. I'm just saying, there are worse places you could live out your days. I don't belong here, that's all. Well, I can tell from your funny accent you're not from around here, but... That doesn't mean you don't belong, does it? What do you think about the golden rule? Oh, I try not to worry about it. I mean, yeah. if people are nice to each other, we won't have anything to worry about, will we? You are pretty straightforward and I like your optimism. Thanks. And I like your teeth. They're so white. And your clothes. Oh, I bet my friend Georgius would like to get a look at you. And I'm sure he'd love to chatter about the golden rule with you too. We already did. He'll be just across the forum in his shop. Any idea who's threatening Virgil? Mm, terrible shame, that is. Maybe this will help. Late last night, I was cleaning my oven when I heard some noises outside. The forum's usually dead quiet at that hour, so I came out to see what was going on. To be honest, I thought maybe poor old Dooley had got out of his cell and was snooping around again. So I put my head out and saw someone in front of Virgil's shop. I couldn't tell who. It was too dark. I called out to them, but they just turned and ran off without a word. All I remember is they ran past a lit torch and the light glinted off something metallic. Armour, I think. So I suppose it could only be one of three people. Hmm. Horatius, Domitius or Rufius. I hope that helps. Well, it's it really does. Okay, thank All you. Right. Thanks again for taking care of our problem. I won't forget it. Okay. Uh, Lucretia was just right. Okay, never mind. We don't. No, we do need to talk to her about the rheumatism medicine. Feeling all right? Yeah, I figured out how to f treat rheumatism. You made it into the palace. Yep. I am impressed. How is Nivea? She's alive, but she just wants to be left alone. And the treatment is willow bark. Willow bark? I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. You're if welcome. this works, it should settle Rufius down some. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. And just as we need to talk to him, yeah. Thank you. All right, I can do that. Thank you. I'm really glad you arrived when you did. Okay, so I'll be. That's a shame. On my way Thanks now. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. Thank you. Although I wouldn't be too surprised to s know that Apollo is our culprit. Anything to talk to you about? Ave again. 
Did you find what you need? Can I ask you some questions about escaping the underworld? Certainly. Ah. Never mind then. Okay. Thing you are Rufus. You sound like a Rufus or like a Rufian. Let me choose. So I guess I was wrong. Maliolus isn't receiving visitors at the moment, it being election day. Oh, don't worry, I can get in whenever I want. Um, are you the one threatening Virgil? Do I seem like anonymous threats of my style? I just had enough. I just had to know. Fair enough. I need to speak with Yulia. She's not here. Where is she? Had to carry her to Lucretia's clinic this morning. Shrine of Apollo. She was acting sick. Faking it, if you ask me. Typical. Yeah, typical. Uh, but Whatever. <laughs> she was really remember. dead. Well, I'll she would watching. have been dead if we didn't give the medicine. The fist is over the... My Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so you must have been desperate to see me. Well, what do you want? So you're Quinctus. <laughs> My name is Marcus Maliolus Gurgis. You seem to have confused me with someone else. You have one green eye and one blue eye, just like the description is execution order from Emperor Nero. You... you mean my heterochromia? Yep, that... I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happens. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. <sighs> Apparently, Quinctus also suffers from delusional delusions of grandeur. Well, I am not suffering from any delusions, as today's election will firmly establish. You're so annoying. I can't prove it. I can't prove it's you, yet, but I will. Unlikely, because it simply isn't true. Now, was there something else you wanted? Any idea where I would find a Roman plaque? Look, if I had a Roman plaque in my possession, plaque. I'd be happy to sell it to you, but I don't, so I can't. Fair enough. I trust you can see yourself out. Yes, I'll try talking to your wife first. I thought I saw some animal on the other side. The pool. Alright, it's over there. Oh dear, can we talk? I'm not supposed to be in here. I know. <laughs> no, I bet. I should hope so. This is outrageous. So there is no real way to talk to her. I really don't want to threat her. Hmm. Okay, the day is ending, so we should hurry. So you survived the system. <laughs> yes, I did. What about the priestess? To get up there as well. Have we gone this way? I don't remember what we did. I can't get up there. I should use my flashlight more. Oh, we totally did. Yeah, we can't really take anything. I need to get up. Because I remember there being a chest. Higher. Oh, right. Hmm. 
No, 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 don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Oh no. It really is dark. Oh, it was only that coin pouch. I can use this. Go back fast. We really need to take part in the election as well. I've just been wondering. There's no real fast way down. Missing, there are those missing pieces. Should help us open that. Nope. Nope. Eh. Really? I can't get back up. Wait, I managed to do that earlier. Somehow. Okay, never mind. I'll try to get down somehow. Oh, like so? You're such an actor. Oh, actress. My life. Take before the order. Abstain. I'm just here to observe. Virgil. Meliolus. Rufius. Meliolus. And finally, Domitius. Meliolus. Who else? Citizens, you have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Marcus Maliolus Gerges. Hail, Magistrate Maliolus. <sighs> I said, Hail, Magistrate Maliolus. That's more like it. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. And now, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. No more shall you walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe, because we the tyrant Sentius told you it was forbidden. For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth of the Golden Rule is no more. The Golden Rule is real, you idiot. For his attempt to deceive us all, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. What? I have committed no crimes. This you just locked up your daughter in the cistern. To fight for his life in gladiatorial combat against Domitius. Here and now for your entertainment. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. He's right. I exercise my right as a Vestal Priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, Priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Domitius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. You'll doom us all. Guys, it is time to go to the Oh. Straight has spoken. I'm gonna enjoy killing you, old man. 
The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh, nope. We've died for the first time. <laughs> no, continue from the last. No, oh my god. So I have to redo all the day over. Don't I? Please tell me that's not true. Please tell me there's no we save. We had a couple of saves throughout the day. Please. You've been saving a couple of times, please. Now I'm freaking out because it's not loading. Okay, it loaded. Why is it black? Hello? Okay, you know what? I think I... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and... Okay. So I'm gonna repeat all the all the dialogues we had Demetrius up to the end of the day, and I'll meet you, a hefty tribute, so you must have been in the next day. So well, that's it for now. Thank you very much. Stay alive, and see you soon. Bye.